My name is Steven Zhang. Uh, I'm an artist uh, specialized in uh, watercolor. I'm also a uh, professor. I teach communication design at the University of Texas. One of the things in, in my painting of nature, there is no man-made object. I, I deliberately not to include it. Uh, I feel like nature is better to be left uh, the way it is. And, and, and we've, you know, we've kind of encroached, encroached this territory enough. So in my painting, none of this will, will, will be represented as like tight, but most of them is inside in the environment. So you're actually immersed, you're surrounded by it. And, and so my landscape painting doesn't have necessarily have a foreground, a midground, and background. It's all in right immediate, it's all surrounding you. So you're bombarded by the richness. There's definitely layers and depths in there, but there's not like, you know, hazy, you know, distance and cloud and the midground and then the foreground. So it's it's more abstract in the sense that there's a lot of marks, there's a lot of uh, movements, and it's also uh, to some degree kind of connected to design because it's more about shapes and, and, and colors. Yeah. You know, my approach to watercolor is I follow what happens. Yeah. You know, it's just sort of a a relationship that's both ways and um, I take a lot of pictures I think it is very important to to look at all the angles uh, I also do some on-site sketches uh, but the sketches are not meant to create the final work and for me on-site uh, sketches are for me to to try to study and capture the essence what I see there because that you know as you sketch your memory is deepened uh, and then so com coming home with hundreds, if not thousands of photographs and with some sketches and it, it'll refresh my memory. A lot of time it takes a long period before I paint something. I, you know, the process of taking photography only is the beginning. Uh, and then there's a process of like trying to figure out which one to paint, where, what to paint, how to paint. Because watercolor is such a spontaneous material, uh, a painting or medium, um, I know something's going to happen that's that's going to go beyond the pencil lines. So having some sketches there is good to kind of work out a composition, work out some detail that you don't want that spontaneous process to mess up. Um, and then once you start putting your paint on it, that's a different kind of game. It, you know, it started just to go anywhere. So when I put the paint down, it's, a, it's quite an intense uh, situation because you know, things are happening, the paint, the color, moving around. It's, it's you know, it's, it's uh, things on fire. And at first, when you put the paint down, there's a lot of them, a lot of liquid, a lot of moving around, making quick decisions. You don't think, you just kind of react. And, and it's, just, it's a very, intuitive process and that will drain your energy so have to kind of stop and come back later to, to see what actually happened you know the next day or the two days later and assess and evaluate and then decide to how to move move forward next and so the so the painting process is pockets of time I feel extremely honored to be accepted, uh, you know, and be representing the United States. Uh, I feel humbled. Uh, I, I, I literally didn't expect that I would be one of those. And the two works, uh, one is uh, Over the Pond. Uh, it is uh, in the uh, tropical rainforest in Hawaii, in, on the Big Island. Uh, the, the other one is called Breeze, which is a vertical uh, painting uh, that is about lotus growing out of the uh, pond. That's a typical Chinese 
thing. It has this kind of thing has been depicted in poems in the ancient time, and people have painted with Chinese painting ink and brush of this kind of uh, scenes. And I think uh, Chinese have a particular feeling or a special feeling toward this kind of thing uh, for what it symbolizes. In one of the well-known poems, it says that lotus coming from mud because it's coming from the pond on the bottom is the mud but it stays clean so it means you know uh it, it, it sort of symbolizes the character of a person who might be <clears throat> surrounded by all kind of environment but the person with uh, integrity could stay out of that kind of you know uh, situation